ever wondered how a butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil could potentially cause a tornado in Texas? This is what chaos theory tries to explain. Now I know what you're thinking. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? But hang on, let's delve a little deeper. Chaos theory at its core is the study of unpredictable and complex systems. It's all about understanding how tiny variations can lead to massive, often unforeseen consequences. Picture this, a game of pool. The initial break might be predictable, but as the game progresses, predicting the exact movement and collision of each ball becomes nearly impossible. That's chaos theory in action. And it's not just confined to pool tables or butterflies. Chaos theory plays a significant role in various fields, from meteorology to economics, even our day-to-day -day lives. Chaos theory, as complex as it may sound, is more prevalent in our daily life than we might think. So, what exactly does chaos theory entail? Let's delve into the principles that govern this theory. Chaos theory, at its heart, is about finding order in what appears to be total disorder. It hinges on three main principles. Sensitivity to initial conditions, topological mixing, and dense periodic orbits. First up, we have sensitivity to initial conditions, commonly known as the butterfly effect. No, we're not talking about the Ashton Kutcher movie. This principle suggests that a minuscule change at the start can lead to enormous differences in the end. Imagine you're playing a game of billiards. If you hit the cue ball just a hair's width to the left or right, that tiny adjustment can drastically alter the path of every other ball on the table. Next, we've got topological mixing. This concept can be a bit tricky, but let's think of it like mixing a cup of tea. You pour milk into the tea and stir. The milk and tea intertwine, creating a swirl of colors. No matter how much you stir, you can't separate the milk from the tea again. Similarly, in a chaotic system, all the elements become so intertwined that they can't be separated. This intermingling leads to unpredictable yet deterministic outcomes. Lastly, we have dense periodic orbits. This principle states that in a chaotic system, it's possible to return to a state very close to the initial one, but it's never exactly the same. Picture a boomerang. You throw it, it spins and curves in the air, but when it returns, it's not in the exact same position or state it was when you threw it. These principles might seem complex, but they are fundamental to understanding the unpredictable nature of our world. They help us make sense of the seemingly random phenomena around us from the swirling of galaxies to the fluctuations in the stock market. So the next time you witness something unpredictable, remember, it's not just random, it's chaos theory at work. You've probably heard of the butterfly effect, but do you know what it means in the context of chaos theory? The butterfly effect is a fascinating concept within chaos theory. It's a metaphorical term that describes how small, seemingly insignificant changes can have large, unpredictable effects on a complex system. The name comes from the idea that a butterfly flapping its wings in India could theoretically set off a chain of events that eventually causes a tornado in Texas. Now, this doesn't mean you should go chasing butterflies to prevent tornadoes, it's a metaphor, remember? The key takeaway is that in complex systems, even minor perturbations can lead to significant changes. Let's take an example. Imagine you're playing a game of pool. You line up your shot, take a swing, and the ball moves in a predictable direction. But if you were to change the angle of your shot by even the slightest degree, the resulting trajectory of the ball and the entire game could change dramatically. The butterfly effect is not just a fascinating concept, it has real-world implications. In weather forecasting, for example, it helps explain why it's so difficult to predict the weather accurately more than a few days in advance. The tiniest changes in air pressure or temperature can lead to vastly different weather outcomes. In economics, the butterfly effect can be seen in how a small change in consumer confidence can trigger a massive shift in the market. A minor rumor about a company can lead to a significant drop in its stock value. In the realm of technology, a minute error in a line of code can cause a major glitch in a software program, affecting millions of users worldwide. So, the butterfly effect is all around us, influencing our lives in ways we might not even realize. It's a powerful reminder of how interconnected our world is, and how the tiniest changes can set off a chain of events with far-reaching consequences. Remember, even the smallest actions can have significant impacts, a concept that the butterfly effect beautifully illustrates. 
Fractals often seen as complex mathematical constructs play an essential role in chaos theory. Now you might be wondering what exactly are fractals? Let's break it down. Fractals are geometric shapes that are infinitely complex. They're unique because they're self-similar, meaning they look the same no matter how much you zoom in or out. A simple example of a fractal in nature is a snowflake. When you look at it closely, you'll notice that each arm of the snowflake mirrors the whole snowflake's shape. Now you might be asking, what does this have to do with chaos theory? Well, chaos theory is all about finding order in what seems to be random. And that's where fractals come in. Fractals help us visualize the patterns that emerge out of chaotic systems. Think of it like this. Imagine you're standing in a forest. From where you're standing, it might seem like the trees are placed randomly. But if you were to look at the forest from a bird's eye view, you might start to see patterns. You might notice that the trees are not randomly placed at all, but rather, they follow a fractal pattern. This is exactly what chaos theory is about, finding the hidden order in what appears to be random. Applying this concept to chaos theory, fractals represent the patterns that emerge from seemingly random data. For example, in economic systems, patterns in the stock market can often seem random and unpredictable. But with the help of fractals and chaos theory, we can start to identify underlying patterns and trends. To sum it up, fractals provide us with a tool to visualize and understand the complex, unpredictable systems that are characteristic of chaos theory. They help us see the hidden patterns in what appears to be random, providing insights into how these systems might behave in the future. Fractals, as complicated as they may seem, give us a visual representation of how chaos theory operates. With their intricate design and infinite complexity, they truly are a testament to the beauty of chaos. Nonlinear dynamics is another important concept in chaos theory. But what does it mean? In simple terms, nonlinear dynamics refers to systems where the output isn't directly proportional to the input. This is contrary to linear systems, where a change in input corresponds to a predictable change in output. But in nonlinear dynamics, a small change can lead to a large and unpredictable outcome. Sounds chaotic, right? That's because it is. Let's picture a game of pool. In a perfect world with no friction or spin, if you hit the cue ball straight on, it will move in a straight line. That's a linear system. But introduce spin, and suddenly, the ball's path becomes much less predictable. This unpredictability is the essence of nonlinear dynamics. Now how does this tie into chaos theory? Well, chaos theory studies these complex, unpredictable systems. It tells us that even though these systems may appear random, they're not. There's a pattern, a hidden order, that we can uncover if we look closely enough. Consider weather forecasting. It's a classic example of a non-linear dynamic system. Small changes like a butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil could theoretically trigger a tornado in Texas, a phenomenon famously known as the butterfly effect. This extreme sensitivity to initial conditions is a hallmark of nonlinear dynamics and chaos theory. In economics too, nonlinear dynamics play a crucial role. The economy is a complex system influenced by countless variables. A seemingly insignificant event like a single tweet could trigger a domino effect and lead to a stock market crash. So why should we care about nonlinear dynamics and chaos theory? Because they help us understand the world around us. They remind us that our universe is complex, interconnected, and sometimes beautifully chaotic. Nonlinear dynamics remind us that outcomes in complex systems are not always as straightforward as we might think. Chaos theory might seem like a daunting concept, but it helps us understand the complex, unpredictable nature of our world. We've journeyed through the fascinating landscape of chaos theory, encountering its core principles, which explain how small changes can lead to massive, unpredictable results. We've seen the butterfly effect in action, illustrating that a tiny shift in one place can cause a whirlwind of change elsewhere. We've marveled at the intricate beauty of fractals, self-replicating patterns that embody the essence of chaos in their infinite complexity. And we've navigated the tumultuous currents of non-linear dynamics, where simple equations lead to complex and often unexpected outcomes. Chaos theory is more than just a scientific concept, it's a lens through which we can view and make sense of the world around us. Chaos theory, with its principles and concepts, helps us appreciate the beauty of unpredictability and understand that even small changes can have significant impacts.